Hello, Susie and Derry here. We are in Luxembourg and we're about to embark on our first ever, I think, three nights in a row camping. And this is our first night. Two nights wild camping and then one night at a Welcome to My Garden. So Susie was a little sad because she had to grab possibly three days worth of food. Not likely. We'll probably do some restaurants. At any rate, um, so we've got our three bags. Got to air up our tires and get on the road. I mean, goodness, it's almost 11. <laughs> and just like that, Shazam! We are out of Luxembourg, back into the cornfields and on a bike path. Shazam! Of course, I think the bike path lasts about 100 feet and we're back on the road. But looks cool. Goodbye, busy roads. Look at the detail in this fence that separates the highway from this nice bike path. Isn't it crazy? Man. And it just goes on, all the way down there. On and on and on and on. This is Lux. Just us, the grains, and the birds again. <laughs> Story of my life. Our lives. Donald Duck. Donald Duck Graffiti. Belly Jim. Belgish town. Is that a word, Belgish? Knut said this is the safest route they could come up with. I feel safe. So we haven't found our stealth camping spot yet. But look how beautiful it is. We got rolling hills. We got manure. Lots of fences so far. Yeah, we a few fences. And uh, I don't know, so far it seems kind of exciting. Like it might actually work here to be stuff camping in Belgium. so funny that you don't know what the route's going to look like until you get on the route. So far, it's beautiful. However, there's no easy place to camp around here. I mean, there's a swamp to the right and a cliff to the left. So, there's no camping right here. We're just being kind of picky about what site we choose. Stealth Camping Pros. First, more adventure. Second, the price, it's free. Third, the most nature and beauty. Four is the privacy. And five, it's very quiet for good sleeping. Cons for stealth camping. One, the effort and time finding a spot. No bathroom. Difficult paths to cycle there. No water or electricity. And it's illegal in some places, which means you might be asked to leave. But all in all, we think stealth camping is worth the effort and lack of comfort. We prefer the wooded or rural areas away from cities and roads. Have you ever stealth camped? Comment below. Okay. All right. Well, welcome to stealth camping in Belgium. Uh, episode one. <laughs> Just 
Susie and I and the mosquitoes. And I'm a little concerned there could be hogs. There's a lot of turned over leaves. We'll see. We'll hear them coming from a long way away. Yep. We're eating a wonderful supper in the tent, in the woods, literally like five or 10 miles away from anything. And there's a storm coming. So what a great night. Temperature's probably mid 70s. We've got strawberries, salad, uh, meat, cheese, rolls, oh, blueberries, strawberries, best dinner ever. Mm -hmm. Can you see us? Can you see us now? Right. There.